A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these, I am the foremost. But for that reason, I was mercifully treated so that in me as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the king of ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the, from the dung hill, he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me listens to my word and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against the house but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. The Gospel of the Lord. The question that's being asked around our country so many times, and probably someone's asked you already this morning, where were you on this tragic day 20 years ago? If we're able to remember that, we all know where we were, don't we? Maybe the better question is, where are you on the 20th anniversary of that tragic day? You'll not forget that either, will you? Because you're here. And how wonderful it is that you're here and those who are joining us via the live stream would remember that you are worshiping God on the 20th anniversary of this tragic 
day in our country. We might remember, some of us, how the next Sunday after this happened on a Tuesday, churches were packed. There wasn't room, a standing room only in so many churches, and it waned, didn't it? It was there, we thought about it, prayed about it, and then the faithful few are here and praying uh, today. We've had so many acts of kindness shown, so many acts of bravery, and that's why we pray for all of those people who lost their lives and all those who helped in any way on this day and who continue to be affected uh, by that tragedy, even 20 years later. If you watch the television programs today, so many stories about how people have been affected over the last 20 years. What's important, of course, is what we do now. How do we pray now? How do we act now? Are we more kind now than we were 20 years ago? Are we more prayerful than we were 20 years ago? Are we more loving of God and our neighbor because tragedy hit? Much to think about and much to pray about, isn't it? Think of the ultimate sacrifice given when we gather to pray every day, the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus. He gave his entire life for sinners, for us, you and me, and everyone else gave his life. Think of the sorrow that Mary must have had when that tragic event was taking place. Yet she remained faithful, never abandoned Jesus, and stayed faithful to him, and is the queen of peace. That's why we pray to her today, that she would allow peace to be not only in our country, but in our whole world, that all of these divisions of unity would be saved. So there'll be so many times today when you might hear the message of 20 years ago, Remember the message of today, that Jesus says, by the way you act, that's how you'll be judged. By the way you are in your personhood, tells whether you're good or not so good. We all want to be better, don't we? We know God has made us good. The goodness of God is in you today because you're here praying. Anytime we pray or uh, increase our relationship with the Lord, it's a wonderful sign of the good that's in us. But Good doesn't have to be the end, does it? Good can be better. Better can be even more better. Did I say more better? <laughs> best. And that's what we go for. We want to be the best of Jesus' followers. So let's pray today. God will increase our love, increase our faith, and increase our charity. May he bless you.